this is our last morning here in Holden Beach, North Carolina. And we've been really, really enjoyed our stay here. Such a beautiful, beautiful barrier island. And right now with those these shells washing up this, from this renourishment of the beach, it's an awesome sight to see and a great place for a sheller. If you're a sheller, you need to check this out real soon. We're going to walk down this beach. The tide has come in and back out last night. And look what we're seeing here. And just the olives are just everywhere. But this morning, I have not brought anything to bring, put shells in, so I'm kind of like just sticking them in my pocket, right on the side of my shorts. Didn't think I was gonna be picking nothing up out here. Thought we had enough. And look at these shell rakes. Get your little bucket, get your little cart, head on the holding beach. There is some uh, public parking down around the general store here on the island, right along the beach. And there's plenty of beautiful rental homes, plenty. size of this island. A shark eye. So I got this little guy down in my pocket I found earlier before I started videoing. I'm trying to fill around down in here. Pull this out. I thought it was pretty neat. Don't see them that often where we're from. And not too sure exactly which mirror axe this is. But it's definitely in the mirror axe family. So we can't pick up all these beauties and we know we're going to be leaving a lot behind for others to find. And I'm seeing some of the welts and lightning welts. Another big shock eye. They are bust up a little bit around the lip right there. But most people are not going to worry about that. Right ladies? seas are looking pretty calm today don't look like there might be maybe one foot seas probably a great day to go offshore do a little fishing also right jump in the boat head on out here's one of the lightning welts here with the opening on your left side and check out those babies here yep this old country boy done learned some stuff from his wife and all the people watching and commenting, thank you. I'm learning. Oh, 
this is a different shell that I've seen since we've been here. See the little ridges running around it? And you can all give me some help identifying that shell also. Picked up another big olive. Look there. This is ridiculous. Look at that big shark eye. I really don't know if I've ever found a shell like this one. As you all know, we're typically um, shelling the barrier islands of South Carolina that's only accessible by boat. A lot of you have asked, you know, to give you some information on where can I go shelling just in my vehicle or I don't have a boat. So here you go. This is it. Holden Beach, North Carolina. Turkey wing. And look how big this shell rake is spread out across this area. Something changes between here and right here, this point right here, and at Holden Beach. The pier is right there behind me in the distance, and there's a water tower, and I'm about midways out here. And there's just a divot right here that you can see like a trough, and it seems like a lot of stuff is gathering in this area. A lot more. So, there's already a lot back there. Little welt, little knob welt. You've seen some of the ones we find, guys. Them big seven, eight, nine inchers. So we'll leave that. And look at that there, busted. But look at those colors on it. Pattern shark guy big olive but it's busted How about this here? Clear, almost clear as glass, little jingle. And we have not been lucky to find a huge shark's teeth, tooth while we were here, but we have seen others here that have found some pretty nice shark's teeth um some of the bigger ones were i guess around two two and a half inches tall and the one thing that we keep trying to show that intrigued us to come was these the fossilized sea biscuits and these sea biscuits you know locals have said that they would see them washed up here every now and then but 
this right here is just a phenomenal time right now due to the dredging. Baby's ear. And can you see? down here at this bottom how all these shells are just getting tossed up in the waves listen to that sound Woo. about got me can't get my shoes wet Stephanie's gonna be wishing she would have came out here with me to see some more of these beauties. She's sleeping in. I tired her out. These shells have wore her out. And during the time that we've stayed here, we've come in an entrance right here. You can see in the opening right here with the blue dumpster. And we've stayed within maybe a half a mile in both directions, just walking back and forth. We knew there was no way, you know, you could pick up all these shells or go through all of them. So on this beach, right now if you're not able to get out and walk quite as much i guarantee you, you could find yourself when the tide comes in just sitting in one of these rake piles and just watching this stuff right here you know come in and out and reveal new stuff because all this beach now there's a good bit of this stuff built up in the sand beds and it'll expose as you sit there I bet some of you would sit there most of the day. What you think? Look for these little red eye shark eyes. Like that little red spot right there in the middle. You can see the little drill hole that was in the side of it. Where something drilled through that shell and ate it. Wow, check this all about. Look at the size of it. And look at this though. Right here on the end. Broken. A big old wallop. A big, big, big old wallop. And I'm just gonna leave it here though. Let somebody else walk by and take a look at that huge olive. It's broken, but They'll be intrigued by it also, I'm sure. I don't see many like that. Maybe we might have one more in our collection that's bigger. That's a big guy. Stephanie actually found a few big ones this week, but nothing like that one. Oh, look at here. And it's busted. Wow.
we're gonna leave this also. My pocket's getting full. Already. That one looks pretty good. We'll have to keep that one. Well, guys, next time you see me and stuff, we'll be back in South Carolina. Just like I said, we are so thankful for the time to come out here. Thankful for the beauty that God has created for us all to see. Thanks for something in our life that we can just get out here and share with you that love coming along on the videos. If you like little videos like this and things and want us to try to keep up with where the shells are for you, Hit the subscribe button and we'll see what all we can find out. We'll look, we'll look for the next spot that's being dredged. I know already there's another island right down the coast right now that's being dredged. I don't know if um, we're going to see anything if we go there. Right now we're not hearing about anybody finding anything. But as sure as we hear about something, we'll definitely take you guys there also. So let's head on back to South Carolina. See ya. Thanks for watching. Let's see what all we found. I got a pocket full. So that one you can put there. See if Steph knows what that is. And this one. Wow. Did I mostly pick up shark eyes? I think so. Shark eyes and olives. One little whelp. Two shells out on one. The baby's ear, and that's a big one. A lightning whelk. Another little whelk. And the difference in the lightning whelk and the regular whelk. You can see the openings to the left of the lightning whelk. Few more. Another baby's ear. Got a set of baby's ears. The one little clear jingle. And this is all of the fossilized sea biscuits that we've picked up. All the rest of the shells are already packed up under the house and bags ready to go in the car. Let's head back.